Hey, Skylar here from the mint chain you can wear. And today we're going to be making a ring out of one of these. It's a New Zealand half crown. They're really awesome coins. I love them. The problem is that they're made out of 50% silver. They're most likely going to turn your finger green when you're wearing them. And the way I'm going to take care of that is line it with a chunk of scrap silver from one of my other coin rings. Make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video. Good things happen when you stay to the end of the video. All right, let's do this. First thing we need to do is cut a hole in this and then get it cone shaped so we can start making it into a ring. And now what we're doing is deburring with a deburring tool. This is probably the number one question I get on my channel lately is what this tool is, so it's called a deburring tool. Alright, I had to pause the video right here because I know every single Kyle watching this right now is like, Hey! I know what you're doing right now! You're hardening that! I've watched Forge and Fire like 13 times and I know exactly about metalsmithing. Alright Kyle, here's the deal. When you quench metals like silver, gold, copper, they actually don't harden like ferrous metals like steel and iron do. All right, now we're done folding it. It's a little bit small, so we're gonna put on the stretcher and stretch it out a little bit. All right, much better. All right, it's Swedish rap time. Now I need some help for my favorite Swedish singer. Now that we have it all folded to size, we just need to clean up the inside and get it ready to accept the silver lining. And this is our piece of pure silver we're going to be using. We're just going to anneal it 
and then get it rolled out. times in one's career that you really do have to hold your hand up and say sold it. Sold it. Now we just need to clean up all the sold and get it ready to get stretched into place. Alright, now we had that liner all stretched into place like that, we just need to cut off the excess, clean it up and polish it up. Now it's all sanded, so what we're going to be doing is throwing in the pickle pot to clean it up and then antiquing it. And now time just to do the last little bit of polishing and cleaning up of that silver liner.
Alright guys, here's the ring, finished. I had a great time making this ring. As a matter of fact, I even had a great time making the video. <laughs> Couple things though. That guy who said... So old. Uh yeah, his name is Andrew Barry. He has an amazing YouTube channel about silversmithing. I'm gonna put a link in the description box below for his channel, and I'm actually gonna have a giveaway for this ring. And what you need to do is make sure you subscribe to my channel, go over to Andrew's channel and subscribe to him. And he doesn't know me, doesn't know anything about me or this, <laughs> so I want you to get him to pick one of you guys and then email me. <laughs> that should be fun. So he can get a hold of me on my website, changeyoucanwear.net, and good luck guys, see what happens. Oh, also, I'm gonna be starting some of my training back again, so take a look at the website. I'm gonna be having a link up for training classes, two-day training classes. It's gonna be pretty limited though. There's only gonna be four spots available per time. All right, guys, Till next time. Have a good one.